Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik. In this video, I'll be going over how to import a script into Movie Magic Scheduling. Now, this is great for situations where you're just getting started on a schedule and you want to import a script from one of the major script writing applications. Now, this is great because not only will it bring in a lot of your characters, but a lot of the scene information from the script. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to File, New Schedule from Template, and this will create a blank schedule. And I'm going to select Default Template and select Open. So I've got a schedule that's completely new and blank. And one quick way to get started is to import a script that's been exported from one of the major script writing software uh, applications. I'm going to go up to File, Import, and it's going to give me a warning saying that uh, elements will be created along with breakdown sheets, etc. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes to continue. Now, I'm going to select this script that's been uh, exported to the .sex, the script export format, and click Open. Now, one quick thing uh, really quickly is that notice that it's a lowercase .sex. Uh, sometimes if, it's, if the .sex is in all capitals, the file chooser won't see it. So if you run into that problem, just uh, rename the, the last three extension characters to lowercase. I'm going to select that and click Open. And what it's doing right now is it's going through this uh, script file and reading it and uh, creating breakdown sheets for every single one of the scenes that was in the script. So once that's done, uh, a lot of times with the script export format, the first breakdown sheet is blank. Uh, as you can see, there's no information here. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this breakdown sheet and click OK. And here we are with scene one. And notice it brings over the scene number, the interior, exterior, the set, the day and night settings, how many pages it is, what script page it was on, and even cast members that were in uh, the script. And if I scroll through here, you can see all this information is brought over for each one of the scenes and it creates a new breakdown sheet. Now, this is just a starting point. You're going to have to still go through the script and break down a lot of the elements. Uh, that are in there and put in synopsis, uh, script day, all the other information that you want to put. On top of that, notice that uh, all this stuff was moved to the unscheduled area. You can notice that up here. And I'm going to click on this strip to get to the strip board or the boneyard, wherever that strip is located. And notice all my strips are in the uh, boneyard. Uh, that can happen sometimes when importing a script. Well, uh, an easy way to solve that is to select them all and I can go ahead and bring up the strip board and drag them over to the strip board. Another way of doing that, I'm going to undo that action, another way of doing that is once I have them all selected I can right click and say move to strip board and that's another easy way to do that. So now everything is in the scheduled area and I can go ahead and add day breaks and schedule from here. So that's one way to import a script. Uh, and I mentioned, you know, that you still have to go through and break down all the elements. Well, another way of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and close this, and go up to File, New Schedule from Template. I'm not going to save the old one. I'm going to bring up that default template again. Click Open. And I've got my blank schedule here. Another way is to go up to File, Import, and click Yes and bring in a script that's been run through the Tagger utility. Uh, Tagger is a utility that comes with the final draft uh, script writing software and you can bring your script into there and tag a lot of the elements that you see in the script and put them in specific categories. Once you do that and export and save uh, for your schedule you can s uh, select that file, click open and it's going to go through that same process of reading all the scenes and creating breakdown sheets for uh, all those scenes in the script. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and delete that first breakdown sheet again. Click OK. Notice that not only did the characters come over and all the uh, scene information that we mentioned before, but also other elements that were tagged within the script. And I can scroll through here and notice props and set dressing all came over. And beyond that, uh, speaking of Final Draft, I'm going to go ahead and close this and create another, uh, I'll go up to File, New Schedule from Template. I'm not going to save that one. Open up the default template again. 
And another way of doing this is importing the Final Draft file natively. Now, uh, from Final Draft 8 on, uh, if you go up to File Import, we recognize the FDX format, which is the Final Draft script format from in Final Draft 8 and beyond. That's the native uh, script file, so there's no exporting needed from the application. On top of that, you can even bring that into Tagger, uh, tag those elements, and still save it in the FDX format. There's no exporting. So uh, I can select that file and click Open, and notice it's going through and doing that same process and breaking down the scene, interior, exterior, day, night settings, all that same information, bringing over the cast members, and this one has run, been run through Tagger as well, so we've got some elements coming over. So that's another way that you can import scripts directly into scheduling and get started a little bit quicker. So hopefully that will get you up and running faster within scheduling. Now, is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks, or did you just have some feedback for us? You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services, and be sure to stop by the community page where you can find ways to friend us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, or even subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.